Wanda doesn't want us to identify her, but wants justice three decades after being brutally raped inside her home in Orlando's Cherokee District. She was in court Tuesday along with another sexual assault survivor and family members offering support as a judge prepares to hear evidence beginning Wednesday in the petition by convicted serial rapist Tommy Lee Andrews to be released. He's been held in the Florida Civil Commitment Center for violent sex offenders since 2012 after serving a 24-year prison sentence. Wanda's case was never prosecuted by the state attorney's office, but she's here to plead with the court to keep him locked up. In my heart, I know there are going to be other new victims out there that he, that it's going to go on. It will go on. Wanda, who positively identified Andrews and provided evidence for a sexual assault kit, was stunned by our previous report that another convicted serial rapist, George Gertman, is being charged in 15 cold cases from the 80s because police retained case evidence and made DNA matches. But she and others who say they were raped by Andrews were just told by detectives their sexual assault kits and other evidence were purged from the system and that new prosecutions are unlikely. That upsets me a lot. You know, everything's gone. How could that be? Authorities say there was no requirement back then to retain evidence in unprosecuted cases. Now there is. For now, victims like Karen Monroe, whose case against Andrews was the first in U.S. history to successfully use DNA to land a guilty verdict, say they're focusing on writing victim impact statements to try and persuade the judge to keep Andrews incarcerated. The judge will also weigh the testimony of mental health experts who have evaluated Andrews and will make recommendations in court. The bench trial is scheduled to last three days here at the Orange County Courthouse. The victim impact statements are expected to be in the concluding part of this trial. In Orlando, Greg Fox, Washington News.